So in today's tool review video, we're gonna discuss removing these exhaust manifold bolts with an induction heater. Obviously, these are pretty rusted. Off the car, we could just heat it with a torch. On the car is a little bit different story. We have some, some heavily rusted studs and bolts. So we'll show you how the Amazon induction heater works. All right, so in the package, you've got the induction heater itself. Um, these are different coils of different sizes. We'll probably use this one. You got the two hold down knobs, another different one. There's the one that you can make. Uh, we use this one once. It's usually all stretched out in one long piece. The instructions aren't that great, and it comes in this case. I'll put a link in the description. So what we've got to do is fit these two in there like that, and then we're gonna hopefully start these in, tighten them up. Okay, that one's tight. Push that one in. I guess we'll run this in there a little ways first. There's a bunch of different copies of these on the internet, especially on Amazon. We've used this one like twice. It seemed to work pretty good. It hasn't failed yet. All right, so we got that tight. So there's our setup. We're gonna put over that nut, and the idea is we're gonna heat it hopefully enough so I can spin it off with a wrench. All right. It does make a noise there's a fan in here and you've got to push this red button so we'll push that down and we'll slide it over this nut pretty soon you'll see it start smoking yep it's already smoking we're gonna get this nut red hot and then I'll grab the wrench and we'll see if we can spin it off as it cools it's probably gonna seize up again and we'll have to heat it a second time but you can see that quick we're already glowing red so we'll get it really hot and then I'll set this down and grab a wrench all right it's hot There you go. So we got it hot enough where it just turns off with a wrench. And that's all it took was just a few seconds with that induction heater without heating everything around it, just heating the nut. And as you know, if I can spin it with a wrench, an impact underneath the car would already have this off. Once we get this other one off, we'll try and heat the stud and see if we can get it to turn out. I wanna reach out so bad and grab this thing and spin it off. All right, there she goes. So we'll flip it over and do this other one. I got my light kind of in the way here. So let's heat that one. All right, so we're not fast forwarding at all. Let's get it on here. That one's wet too from this thing being outside. So there's no cut in this part of the video. This should show how fast it'll heat it up. And get it cherry red. All right, it's starting to glow. Hopefully you can see it in there. So maybe about 30 seconds or something. Okay. Now, Let's try and turn it off. This one's a little tougher. I think this one might cool before we get it off. I guess you've already seen me take one off with a wrench. All right, let's heat it again, and this time I'll hit it with the impact. So let's get it really hot here. We'll get it glowing again. It's almost there. All right, there it is. I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit. There you go, red hot, let's see. So the exhaust pipe's not even hot, like I can hold it. Now for one of the studs. I think we'll heat it and we'll lock some vice grips on it and see if it comes off. I don't have a stud tool that size, I don't think. Okay, let's heat the stud the same way we did the nut and then we'll lock the vice grips on it and turn it out. If you're at all like me, you've probably broken more of these than you care to remember, especially when I was younger working underneath cars and small block Chevy so let's get her good and hot here now the idea would be to heat the manifold and not the stud I don't think that's an option with this fitting we have in here it's pretty hot let's see if it'll turn out so we'll lock the vice grips on it I'll have to come to the other side it started to turn let's try again to heat just the stud 
and let's see if we can get it really, really hot where it'll turn out of it. It's already glowing, you can see. But it looks like the issue with this is we're heating the stud outside of the manifold and we need that heat inside. So I guess we'll just get it really hot and we'll see if it'll turn out. Okay. Well, my vice grips aren't tight enough, so let's tighten these up. Nope. So that would be the downside to the tool is when you're you're trying to do something like this you need to heat the manifold and not the stud but the heat won't transfer it only heats where that coil is around so this would probably take the oxyacetylene all right so alex has the oxyacetylene going i've got the induction heater going and we're both going to heat a nut see which one glows red faster and i put some electrical tape on here to see how fast the heat transfers through on the oxy and the induction heater so if alex is ready we'll both get to it don't burn my thing. Hold it right on the nut. Yep. So the tape on the oxy side has already started to melt. Obviously because of the French flame. Mine started melting as well. Get your flame a little closer. Alright, that's it. So the induction one in that test versus the oxyacetylene. Alex is just starting to get his red hot. All right. So that's it for the induction heater test. I would say on Amazon, they're anywhere from $179 to $229. I think this one was $230. You saw how fast it heats up the nuts. The stud heating up the, the exhaust manifold, That's that was really difficult. It's trying to heat that whole area. But as far as the nuts go, without heating anything surrounding it, it worked great. Even faster than the oxyacetylene. It's probably not something you're gonna use all the time, once or twice a year, depending on what you're doing but when you do use it, it's gonna save you. So I would recommend, there's name brand ones out there that will probably last a lot longer than the Amazon ones, but for the money and the amount of time we're gonna use it, I would say this is a win.